Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome, my name's Chloe. So today's video is going to be a little shopping haul. So this was a little bit in the sort of Boxing Day sales um, and sort of recent payday, Christmas money, things like that. I've just sort of accumulated a little haul uh, to show you on here. I have also filmed a tutorial on this makeup look. It will be up on my channel either before or after this video, um, but it is filmed and will be up on my channel for you. If you'd like to see more of me, you can find me on TikTok, Twitter and Instagram. That's under the same handle as my YouTube, which is Chloe Cage with two E's, but I will put that in the description box below for you, as well as all of the products that I've used on my face today. Well, I really hope you guys enjoy watching this little haul. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Okay, so in no particular order, um, I can just go by either the website that I've bought on all the, sh the shops, so I don't forget anything. Um, so I've picked up one of these gorgeous little like Sherpa um, double-sided blankets. Well, I've actually got two, because um, since we've got OB and we've been going out on big dog walks and things, bless him, he does get dirty um, and he brings all his toys or his treats up on the sofa. Of course, we love um, cuddles with him. Um, and we just felt like we needed some throws for the sofa. So um, my sort of older blankets um, I've put across the sofa uh, just to cover it where he's lying down and um, we decided to get some nice warm little blankets that we could use just for sort of blankets to cover ourselves on the sofa. Um, so I got these from B&M and they're around 14 99 something like that each. Really nice quality, really, really soft, um, and Jake and I have one each, and I've just kind of brought this up here as it's a little bit cold in my filming room, so I've just been filming with um, this over my legs, and it's kept me nice and warm. So next I've got a purchase off Amazon. Um, so I have mentioned on a previous video that I have been starting to collect and read the um, Disney um, books. Um, it's not like the classical um, tales that we all sort of know and love. Um, there are different authors that um, they write different versions, like what if this happened instead, or um, what I've really been enjoying is the origin stories of the villains. Um, you do have to read the villain books in order. So um, I started off with The Evil Queen from Snow White and I did order the beast as he is next and he's technically he is technically a villain in the series um from his sort of like previous life before he met Belle um and this one actually came instead which is the third book in the series um so I just ended up keeping it because um I knew that I was going to read that one next, it was the next one that I needed so I just ordered another Beast book. Um, I finished the Evil Queen one as I've been reading them at work on my lunch breaks. So the Beast book is actually um, in my office, sat in my desk as I'm currently reading that and you can really see where the previous story of the Evil Queen kind of ties into it. There are links so I do understand why you do have to read them in order. So I've got the Beast one at the moment, and then I'll be moving on to Ursula's Tale as she's the next in the lineup. Um, these are about, you can get them on offer, um, sometimes on Amazon. They range from like six to ten pounds. Um, as I've got the paperback, you can get the hardbacks. Um, and yeah, so they were about ten pound with the delivery. Um, but I've really been enjoying uh, reading these. I do have some of the Twisted Tales as well. So I have recently finished uh, reading this one, which is almost there. This is a Twisted Tale um, about Tiana, the Princess and the Frog. So it's what if she made a deal with um, Dr. Facilier. Um, and you kind of just see what happens uh, within that. And it's a really, really good story. Um, but yeah, I do really, really enjoy these books and I will be getting more. So next I have repurchased my favourite foundation. Um, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I'm shade uh, 1 Neutral. I love this one. Um, you can see that my previous one is very loved. Um, I need a little bit of this as I've been using sort of less foundation and a little bit more concealer to cover any blemishes on my face because of course I do go in with bronzer, blusher and things and I don't need all of that coverage um, so this is a gorgeous finish. You can build up on it as well um, or you can sort of sheer it out as I mix it with a little bit of serum when I don't want to have um, a little foundation on as well um, but yeah 
still love her and I've repurchased her. She, well, I got her with um, my blue light card discount, so she was about 27, 28 pounds, something like that for me. So next I have purchased some bits from Beauty Bay. Um, if you watch my Best of Beauty 2023 video, you would have seen that I've spoken about this serum here. This is the Glow For It Lash Serum. Um, this was about £25 as they had a sale on Beauty Bay. Um, I love this. Um, I felt like this has really helped um, my lashes grow. Um, it strengthened my lashes. Um, I really like how my um, lashes look with just mascara as well. All up to Christmas I was just wearing mascara I wore just mascara on my Christmas party um, and on a night out with Jake um, when I always wear lashes so that was a big deal for me. Um, I do suffer with the inner corners of my lashes where their root was completely taken out when I had um, what you call it lash extensions and um, unfortunately I had quite a bad experience and it left me um, with very damaged lashes so um, this product uh, is just, has just been my saviour. Um, it's lasted a very long time as well, I'm only just sort of running out of my previous one so I thought that I had better get another one so I was topped up um, but yeah I would really really recommend this one. Next I've got my Jeffree Star um, oil here, this is the um, part of his Winter Wyoming collection and um, I think he launched like a what did he launch? I think he launched, he definitely launched a face cream. Um, I think he launched like a body butter and, and a lip treatment as well. Um, I have wanted to try this for quite a while, but I just kind of forgot about it. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love the Kiehl's recovery um, oil. I do like the Clarins Lotus oil. Um, so I've been using those ones. And I was just looking on Beauty Bay in the sale and I just saw this was on there for £26 and I thought, well I have wanted to use this for quite a while so I might as well pick it up so I can use this morning and night. Um, as the Kiehl's duo would set me back about £100 as they are, like over £50 for the big, big bottles, which I just ran out of in December. Um, but this has got um, a lot of claims on here and it's got really good ingredients. Um, if I name a few, um, it's got mushroom extract which is um, an anti-inflammatory and helps retain moisture, um, it's rich in antioxidants and helps reduce any scarring so it's really good for like my cheeks. Um, so it does contain vanilla chai tea which you can really smell in here, um, which is uh, to soothe and calm your skin, uh, it's supposed to brighten and even skin tone boost collagen and um, soothe any irritated skin. So it's got a lot of claims on here, a lot of good ingredients, so I am really um, excited to try this. They say that you can use this um, instead of your moisturiser or on top for added hydration. Um, I only really received this yesterday um, and I've used it last night and this morning, um, so I can't wait to use this more and give a little review on it. But this one was about £26 on the website. So then next I picked up some serums from um, Glow Hub. So if you saw my Best of Beauty I did talk about the serums in there and I have um, recently filmed an updated AM and PM skincare routine um, using the Intro into Acids collection which came with four. So it would be the Hydration Hero, um, the Glow Giver, Barrier Builder and the Scar Slayer. Um, I have purchased in the big um, form the Scar Slayer um, because I do just really want to see what it does for um, any sort of acne scarring on my skin and I've repurchased the Hydration Hero. I used to use just hyaluronic acid um, every day, every morning and night but um, I've seen a much better sort of bigger difference really in using the Hydration Hero with a few more ingredients in there. Um, in the day and it has got hyaluronic acid as part of one of the ingredients in there. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to um, use these as I am sort of about this much left of my minis. Um, so really, really happy that I've got these big versions to carry on with. Um, I do like the Barrier Builder and the um, Glow Giver from the little set, but I think I just preferred these ones more. Um, if I do... I think that I probably would buy the Barrier Builder as I would like to have something like that in my collection um, as I did have a 
recent flare-up, a reaction to your product in October, and my skin, my chin, um, the bottom of my cheeks, the whole lower part of my face just really reacted to it, and I felt like the Barrier Builder really helped um, my skin recover. So yeah, I really do like Low Herb and I would check them out. I recommend their brand. Um, I did talk about them in my Best of Beauty video. Those were on offer for £11 on Beauty Bay. Um, I'm not sure how much they are full price, but that's pretty good for uh, 30 mils of product each. So these Baldac noodles have taken over TikTok. Um, and my local um, little Asian convenience store um, actually sells these so she's got a tiny store she's only got a few things in there it's mostly like herbs and spices but she has started to stock these noodles and I'm so happy um, the carbonara ones are probably the most popular that I have seen on TikTok and they are delicious um, these are £3.50 per pack though in her shop um, and I do have um, these ones here so these are the hot chicken so you've got you can get hot you can get like hot times two hot times three and you get cheese curry all sorts of flavors these ones are 175 so i kind of have a little variety um as jake goes for um like a boys night on a friday so that's my night to ha kind of have like pasta like you know like girl dinner and one of my girl dinners is my bulldog ramen I have seen that they do sell them on TikTok shop um, and they sell them in big packs so I might buy some off TikTok shop so I have a bit more um, value for money there because that carbonara one is my favourite but it's £3.50 for one packet. Um, I do buy other things from that store as well. Um, if anybody is from Hereford and they do want to check out that shop it's opposite where Peacocks used to be um, down by the little alleyway by Tesco it's got like green a green sign on the front um i can't remember what the actual shop is called um but it's got the noodles just in the doorway she's got the pop noodles um as well which are about four pounds something um she's got loads of flavors of ramen um jake and i do really like the curry flavor um she's got loads of herbs and spices she's got the sauces she's got the bulldog sauces um i've picked up the um red pepper paste the is it Gu Gurang, Gushang, or whatever it's called, um, that you see in loads of the videos as well, like the little red tub, um, she sells those. Um, I've got the little chilli oil that you see with the man on the front. Um, I think that was about three or four pounds in there as well. Love that, it's like crispy chilli oil. Um, but yeah, I've picked up a lot of stuff from there, and she sells the little lychee drinks, I think they're called Moki Moki. Um, loads of different flavours, but I love the blue one, and Jake loves the melon one. Um, so yeah, check her store out if you're from Hereford. Picked up some Colgate Max White. I have quite sensitive teeth and I've been using Sensodyne for years but I, I've been using the gentle whitening, the whitening. I always pick up a whitening toothpaste but I just feel like it's not really whitening. Um, I tend to avoid any lipsticks that can really sort of um, make your teeth look really yellow. Um, I tend to go for sort of red tones that help the, the white in your teeth come out. Um, but I just sort of saw this was in offer, I think it was either B&M or Home Bargains, and I just picked it up because I have seen a lot of people rave about the Colgate Max White, um, as it's supposed to give you whiter teeth in five days. Um, so I am going to be using this for um, the next few weeks just to see if I see a difference. I will have to keep the Sensodyne in my um, toothbrush sort of um, teeth brushing routine um, because I do have uh, really sensitive teeth. Uh, this was about three or four pounds like that on offer so i'm really excited to use this okay so next i have a couple of jumpers from h&m so these are gorgeous i think they're about 22 or 23.99 pounds each and they are one of the bardo sort of off the shoulder jumpers like this um so kind of wear it like that um, I'm obsessed with them. I ended up wearing this one to my work's Christmas party with a leather skirt and some um, thigh-high boots um, and they are really really soft as well and I picked up the black one because I was just so obsessed with the cream one um, and I wore this black one on Christmas day as well. Um, I just think that they are so nice. They're so like sophisticated. Um, they're a really sort of nice um, quality knit 
um, I feel like you could really dress them down or you can dress them up like how I wore them um, for sort of special occasions. So yes, I really like that I got these in like plain black and cream as I feel like they can go with a lot of outfits. Really happy with those. Um, and I just feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them as well. But next I've got a two piece from Pretty Little Thing. So this is a really sort of soft jersey material. Um, and it's like a sort of plain long sleeve black top. Um, it's sort of low cut at the back. Um, it's just really like slouchy, it just kind of um, it can fall off the shoulder, it just kind of like hits on the shoulder here. Um, but it is a really, really soft, um, lightweight. Um, it kind of reminds me of the, you know, the, is it Taylor, Tala? Um, when they do like the really nice quality, like fitted, um, to your body, like t-shirts and trousers and things. It's, it very much reminds me of that which of course I like because it's much cheaper. Um, I think the set costs me definitely under £20. Um, so this is the top. And then these are the trousers. So they are again nice fitted, lightweight and they are flared at the bottom. Um, they are very, very flattering. Um, and I wore these on Christmas day with the um, knitted top from H&M. Um, it's a little bit too cold for me to just wear um, this sort of thin cotton t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt with it at the moment. Um, but it's definitely a really, really flattering lounge set. Um, I do hope they do them in other colours because I'd love to pick them up. They are really, really gorgeous. So I got this um, massive puffer coat from Pretty Little Thing. Um, it's zip up. Um, it's very, very warm inside. It's got a hood. Um, and it's very, very long. Um, it goes all the way down to just for my ankles um this was in the well they had some sort of sale on i think it was around 30 30 pounds um reduced quite heavily um i wear this for my dog walks um morning and night or if we do like a when i'm off work and we go midday as well because it's really cold at the moment i do like to be out there with ob for quite a while just to um get him the exercise that he really needs because he is a border collie um and he needs a lot of um he's got a lot of energy so he needs a lot of walks um and stimulating and things so we take him on about two to three walk walks a day and um yeah i've just been using that for my dog walks and um i just feel like we are proper dog parents now jake and i like we've got completely kitted out outfits like we'll wear fleeces we've got these jackets um i've got some trousers that i'll show you and i've got my boots um i'm a proper dog mom and i've got my little like bum bag with the little um attachment that you know when you can pull the poo bags out um i'm very kitted out on my dog walks and then i did pick up some more sort of um loungewear bottoms these are like cotton um, drawstring joggers they are um loose fitting and they are wide leg um i lived in these over christmas I wore these on boxing day because you know you just want to lounge around and eat and drink and play games and stuff so yeah um i've really got my use out of these over christmas they are very long um so you have to be careful like i'm very petite um very small um but i do have like platform sort of slippers that I wear with them so that um I'm, I'm not going to slip over um but they, they are quite thin um but they are very very flattering as well on the booty um these were about nine pounds in the sale so really happy with those so next I've got some Primark um these trousers I saw them when they were full price uh, full price really liked them um but they only had a size 10 as their smallest size and it was very very big very long and um, so I didn't end up getting them and then I saw that they had them in the sale and I picked up a size 6 and a size 8 because they in the Rita Ora collection can be quite oversized and I'm happy to announce that I'm a size 6 in these trousers so these were down to £10 in the sale I think they were £18 full price um, and these are just the sort of um, trousers like work trousers um, and they are wide leg um, she does have a blazer I think but I didn't really want to wear the blazer and um, I just thought these are quite nice if I've got um, I mean I'm not patient facing in my NHS role um, but every now and then you know if, if I've got like a meeting or something I do want to 
dress quite smart um, and I do love a nice smart trouser um, and I just I wore these to work this week with like a black um, jumper and I, didn't, I just loved my outfit um, but yeah they are very sort of wide leg at the bottom really comfortable um, as they are sort of that oversized slouchy feel but I wore them with a belt just to hoik them up as they were they are quite long um, but yeah really really happy with those and then I've got a couple of dresses from Primark so this one here um, I have got one similar to this um, that's like blue different sort of colours in it um, that I wore to the Celtic Manor for a really nice meal with Jake for my birthday and I did end up taking to Italy um, really really comfortable material it's a short dress but it's got the long mesh sleeves and I'm really into mesh at the moment as you can tell um, this was two pounds two pounds in the sale um, I looked at the colour originally and I thought would I wear something like that but I thought that I could style it um, and for two pounds you can't go wrong so yeah really really like that I thought it would be quite nice for like a holiday with some little sandals or something I don't know and then I picked up this dress um, I picked it up in extra small because it is quite um, elasticated um, it's got sort of long sleeves and it's like a little um, down to your knee type dress this was £10 um, I thought again for work it would be quite nice with some tights and some boots I did almost buy some boots from the Rita Ora collection some black um, knee high boots that I thought would be quite nice with this dress um, but I didn't end up getting them I wasn't sure on the heel and I was wearing like the, the high top converse I thought oh, I can't be bothered to take my trainers off to try them on so next time I'm in town I might try them on and see how they are if I can sort of they'd be appropriate for work but yeah I thought this would be a nice one for um, work as well I really really like the colour of it and um, I like the print on it as well very very flattering on as well I went into a mountain warehouse and um, we've got a nice big store in Hereford now and it's dog friendly which is really cute um, so Jake has picked up a couple of um, like waterproof um, wash easy like wipe clean trousers for dog walks and I've just been wearing sort of like leggings or joggers or stuff um, because I have that big puffer coat but I thought well um, we've had quite a lot of rain recently and it has been quite muddy I should probably get um, some sort of waterproof or water resistant sort of wipe clean trousers and I picked these ones up um, in the store I tried them on size 10 really really nice um fitted so i thought you know they're not going to be very stylish in mountain warehouse are they um but these do fit really really nicely it's a nice slim fit trouser um you can uh, cinch them in at the waist with a drawstring they've got a little pocket and they're just a really nice lightweight thin um material um and yeah they keep me warm and they are waterproof and I got these I think they were originally they were already reduced in the sale um, and I didn't realise as a blue light card holder that I get an extra 15% off um, the sale um, it you know it's 15% off but it still includes the sale which is really good so I got these for about £16 really happy with those been on quite a few dog walks over Christmas with them I've picked up this necklace that I'm wearing today so this is a name necklace uh, it's got my name Chloe on there you can pick your font you can pick uh, the chain length and whether you want it in gold or silver I really like the quite curly um, writing as it matches my own sort of writing my style of writing um, so I picked up this one and of course I do wear quite a lot of gold jewellery but I would get the silver as well um, I got this from Etsy and this was including delivery about £15 they did have um, a sale on um, I can't remember who I bought it from but I'm sure they'll be easy to find on there if you just type in sort of name necklace um, but yeah I do definitely want to pick up the silver but I've wanted a name necklace for so long I do want to get like a little um, like C um just for chloe um i have seen sarah ashcroft she wears um a little um initial letter for her partner and i thought that'd be quite cute if i had like a little j for jake um but yeah i do really really like this i've been wearing it ever since it arrived and it did take quite a while to arrive but i guess it is etsy um so it, it got here eventually lastly i picked up these trainers here so i have very very small feet i'm a size three in women's or I can fit a size four in the juniors um, which is just better 
because um, the, the juniors aren't as expensive as women's or men's shoes. Um, so I picked up a size 4 in these and these are, f is it Fila? 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 I am not sure how you pronounce the brand. I have not got anything from them. I usually buy um, Nike trainers um, but I was just kind of looking in at the sales, Jake wanted to have a look as well and I saw these and I thought they'd be quite nice, I don't have any grey trainers, um, I wasn't really looking for some more white ones but they didn't have my size um, so I might just have a look on the website, um, but these were £20, £20 for this brand of trainer is really good um, considering I've seen you know how much they are in like women's and men's, they're very expensive trainer. But yeah, really, really happy with those and I can't wait to wear them. I'm waiting for the weather to be not so wet um, because I don't want to ruin them. But yeah, really, really happy with those. So there you go, guys. That was the end of my haul video. Really hope that you've enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.